guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Mr. Rex. Um, my other two babies are hanging out with their dad in the living room. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys uh, a couple tips that I have for you on how to make your New, Year, New Year's resolutions work and actually achieve them versus them being that joke that people have about, you know, New Year's resolutions never coming true. So I want to share with you some tips that I have on how to actually make those resolutions become a reality and some actionable steps you can start taking today in order for them to become true. So step number one, you need to really look at your resolutions more as goals rather than resolutions. So for goals, you need to have, um, I like to say SMART goals, so SMART, so specific, measurable, attainable, uh, realistic and tr trackable. I think I just made up my own version of it. Anyway, so you need to make sure that they're specific in what it is. Not that I want to lose weight. My goal is that I want to lose 15 pounds, okay? You want it to be measurable. Well, you can measure it by the scale or through progress pictures or inches, whatever the case may be. Uh, why did I say accurate? I think it's more like accountable or something like that. Are you kidding me? Are you really doing this right now? <laughs> He's like totally. All totally, totally, totally all cuddling up to me. Let's try this again here. Smart girls. Let's see here. Achievable, realistic, timely. Wow, okay, not accurate, okay? So, achievable, okay? So make sure you give yourself a realistic time frame, okay? Now, remember the R. Okay, I'm gonna pet you. It's realistic. You're not gonna try and lose 15 pounds within a week. That is not realistic unless you lose all your water weight and well, you're just gonna get all that back so that's not very helpful. Timely, so you need to give yourself a timeline. So think about how your goals can be of those factors and that way you can start writing out how you want to achieve them and give yourself a deadline into achieving them. Okay, the next, the next tip I have for you is to give yourself time. Now, what does that mean? It means that you take time for yourself in order to grow in your personal development. I feel like a lot of people get out of high school and they start their careers, whatever the case may be, and they quit trying to grow as a person and we are not truly able to achieve what we want in life if we stop growing and learning. We are never the same person we once were. We are always evolving due to situations and things that we have. So you really need to take time to educate yourself on things that you can grow upon. So for me, currently... You're kidding me, right? You're doing this today? Okay. So really take time to grow in your personal development and focus on that and give yourself time to do that every day. Yes, that means you too, my parents out there. You can spend five minutes in personal development every day in growing yourself out there. I have several mothers that are in the academy with me um, that make time for that every day and they have children, okay? And they're not, their children are not big, they're little kids. And I also have people that have grown up children and children that are older that still make time for it. You yourself need to make yourself a priority. When you make yourself a priority, you are better able to serve those around you. So give yourself Time, okay my next tip for you is to actually make a plan of action so give yourself an outline of how you want to achieve this and things that you need to start doing yes this may take some research it may mean you actually might need to seek some help and that is fine but you need to give yourself a plan of action so that way you can really plan out of when you want to achieve this and give yourself some time to make it happen so if my goal is in 2018 to lose uh, two inches on my waist per se, maybe I want to lose about a quarter inch on my waist every other week, okay? So if it's two inches and I want to lose a quarter inch every other week, how much is that? 16 weeks. That's 16 weeks, okay? 
So then whatever my deadline is in 16 weeks, that's what I'm going to be working towards. So I give myself a timeline. I am realistic about it. I'm not overestimating. So now, now that I have made a plan of action about when I want to achieve it, maybe I need to take some time to plan how I want to achieve it. So for me, I have to make a plan for success. So, and this is something I recommend to all people. Where do you, where do you tr typically slip up or where do you tr truly need to have help or plan B? So for me, I need to have a meal plan. I need to always have a water bottle with me. I have a glass of water right over there, by the way. Um, I have people that I use to help keep me accountable during my workouts. Um, I have a coach that helps me grow my business. So I have plans in place to help me be successful. So if you're one of those that goes out to eat and you don't want to change that part of your life, that's fine. But maybe you need to do some research on some better options that you can have at those restaurants. Or maybe you need to eat more at home. So maybe give yourself a meal plan so that way you can go home and you know exactly what you're going to make. Or even better yet, maybe you meal prep for the whole week. So that way by the time you get home and you're not overwhelmed by what you want to make, you just pull something out of the fridge and you heat it up and you're done. So know yourself, take time to really figure out where you need to have help and make a plan of action to account for those situations and time. So that way you don't, you don't fall tragedy to the same groundhog thing every time. Cause I'm one of those people. I know the second I get home from work, I do not want to think about what I want to eat. I'm going to look for the first thing that's done. So if I have something that's already meal prepped and ready to go, that's what I'm going to eat. So know yourself and know where you're more, you're most likely going to, to default to an easy decision. So make that decision easy by planning ahead. Okay. So the next tip that I have for you is to set rewards at goal points. So for a lot of people, we're like, okay, once I reach those two instances and then I'm going to give myself something. No, you need to, you need to reward, reward yourself when you are being consistent toward progress towards your goals. Something I might add is you should not always use some use food as a reward system because I feel like that we put a higher priority over food versus situations and relationships. So maybe you get to have an extra date night with your significant other y'all go mini golfing or you go to like an arcade or whatever the case may be, you get to make a memory. Or maybe you your reward is that you get to go buy yourself a new outfit or you go to the spa or maybe you get to buy a car part if you're my husband. So whatever the case may be, set yourself up with a reward system and put some money aside so that way you can purchase that reward. So that way you can kind of give yourself, you know, a, a personal high five that you are making progress towards your goals because we are humans. Small victories and being rewarded for our behavior is a good thing. I mean, look at look at our caveman kind or whatever the case may be and they saw something on a fruit tree Oh, there's fruit. I see it. Dopamine hit. We get closer. Oh, I know how to get to the fruit. Dopamine hit. I climb up the tree and I get the fruit. Dopamine hit. So we are of that nature of that's what we want and we, we want to be able to be rewarded for that kind of behavior. So not, dopamine's not always a good thing. That is a concept for a whole nother day. But the case in point that I'm trying to get at is that it's, it's okay to reward yourself when you're making progress and do not punish yourself when you slip up. Look at it as an opportunity to learn how to address that situation next time you're in that. We are human, we are not perfect, but we can learn from our situations and experiences and be better prepared next time we are in that, okay? And last but not least is I want you to think about a way to have some accountability towards your goals um, for your resolutions, whatever the case may be. So maybe you need to talk to a friend or a family member or whatever the case may be so you can get some accountability or some community to learn a little bit more. Um, because when you have somebody that you, can support you as you go through the journey or whatever the case may be for your goals and your resolutions, it, you're more likely to be successful. So I hope you enjoyed this chat. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to film any other videos. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I have so many videos coming later this month. I'm going to be posting three times a week and I would love for you to, to click that subscribe and notification bell so that way you don't miss a video with Kelsey. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. What are you doing? Are you helping mom? 
Are you helping mommy? You look sleepy, boo boo. You're done with this? Are you ready to go to bed? Okay, we'll go to bed. Night, night. to let you know that I have a free, free, absolutely free, no money, a 14 day challenge that you can sign up for that can help you jumpstart your health and fitness goals in 2018. It starts on January 15th. Did I mention that it's free and that it comes with accountability and workouts and nutrition guidance and cardio plan and everything and a Facebook community? Oh, and last you get a chance to talk with me on the phone at the end of it and get some guidance after the 14 day challenge. I mean, it's a steal for $14.99 free. Wow, where did that come from? Anyway, so 14 day challenge, it is free. If you are interested, um, I'll have it linked in the bio. Until then, I'll see you next time. By the way, it starts January 15th. Bye. Little Bella never hesitated, but she's got me captivated. So the game, I'm gonna play it, yeah. Got a body like a coke thing